All right, so today we are going to be taking down the new LR Majin Vegeta Extreme Z Battle Event on Global so that I can, you know, Extreme Z Awaken my Majin Vegeta and do a showcase for you guys later today. Now, uh, with that said, let's just jump right into it, starting with level one. And as you guys can see, we do have a timer above my head for those of you that want to race me to see if you can uh, finish the 10 levels before I can. Now, uh, as far as the team goes, we do have a Super Saiyan 2 team because that is the effective category on this event. We got the double tech Vegeta's, uh, AGL LR Gohan, Attack LR Gohan, LR Killing Khalifla, LR Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta, and finally the tech Kale and Khalifla. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this is the best possible setup going in, but it should do pretty well. It should do pretty well. So, uh, yeah, let's do this. I will start the timer in three, two, one go and we are in all right level one let's get it <sighs> okay so the game's a little bit laggy i'm not sure if you guys noticed but basically ever since we got uh the version z update the game has been just a little bit off um it might be a server issue or maybe it could be my device actually i don't know it could be the tablet because this ipad i'm using for dokkan is like I think at least five years old so that could be part of it but I have heard complaints from a lot of people online that version Z did kind of slow down the game quite a bit so even though we got a lot of positive things like uh, the auto mode and the hidden potential and oh my god he hits really hard <laughs> he hits really hard guys the first thing I noticed um, we're on level one right now and we just took a super for a hundred and thirty k, was it? Somewhere in that range. That was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. Um, and Gohan is, of course, Super Saiyan two, so he's supposed to take less damage. Um, yeah, damn. Okay, so we got to be careful for sure. And uh, now we are on level two. I really don't want to die at some point during this uh, during this run. And we're also racing, so I got to actually get a move on. Okay, anyways, um, as I was saying, we got a lot of good stuff. <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff with Virgin Z. Um, no doubt about that, but it definitely, like, affected the game um, as far as, like, efficiency goes. I don't know, like, it's just... Everything's kind of laggy. Uh, it feels like uh, going into, like, an event takes twice as long, or maybe even three times as long as it used to and uh, hopefully Bandai is aware of this issue. I'm, I'm assuming they know what's going on. I'm assuming they know there's an, a problem and that uh, they're working to fix it because you know if this persists then I, I, I'm not sure if it was worth it you know. <laughs> I'm not sure if the upgrades we got are worth the just like slowness of uh, everything right now. Like even though the hidden potential system is not much faster to click that one button, when I click that button, it takes a really long time to load everything. I, and I'm like, I could have just like went like manually and pressed all the like paths and everything. And it probably would have taken the same amount of, the same amount of time. So once again, uh, I think they'll fix it. And it could also be just my old ass tablet. Uh, being an issue as well but this is not something that's exclusive to me it's definitely something that's like uh, game wide right now and I think JP actually experienced something similar when version Z first dropped on that side and I believe they fixed it so uh, hopefully that happens we'll see we'll see anyways we're on level 4 now uh, we can get actually an 18 key super for this Vegeta which is really nice. Um, I've noticed that for this team I have right now, the links are not the best. Obviously, the Kalen Khalifas link really, really well, but some of the Vegetas and the Gohans, uh, they haven't been able to really give each other too many links, so I might have to switch things up. Although, offensively, we're doing really well, so I don't want to mess with that. Like, we're doing good damage. 
the Angel Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta doesn't hit as hard as I would like him to. Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. <sighs> I messed up there. I forgot that <laughs> we get extra damage for the uh, legendary power link, right? So I should have really linked up the Vegeta, the Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta with the Kaelin Khalifla. So they got the legendary power link and got a huge boost in damage. That was my mistake. That was my bad. Um, we took a lot of damage on that turn actually, but I'm still not really worried uh, being this early in the event. This is only level three, but once again, we gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. I feel like at some point during this run, I will die at least once. It's gonna be like, the, just, I don't know, like Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta taking a super on like level seven, level eight, and that'll probably do him in. But uh, in terms of time, I think we're making good time. I'm considering taking out the Killing Khalifla because even though they, uh, you know, even though they're tech, they're really not great for these shorter events. Like my my opinion on the tech Killing Khalifla has really, I'm not gonna say it hasn't done a 180. Like it's not like I think they're bad now. I just don't think they're as good for some events as I used to think, right? Like I used to think they were maybe good enough for like all events, but I've noticed like for shorter events like this, man, or actually this is not like, this is kind of like medium length, but for shorter events, uh, they don't have enough time to build up, right? So like if you only get them for two to three turns, like you get their, or you get to use them for two to three appearances, then they're not gonna be fully built up and yeah, like their damage is actually pretty, pretty rough um, for a Dokkan Fest unit, for like a very new Dokkan Fest unit, right? So, yeah, um, I think the design maybe was not, well, okay, I can't say it's bad, because for longer events, they're very good. I guess like the point is, they're just designed for longer events, they really shine the longer events, and for something like this, which is like kind of like short to medium length, uh, they don't really do that well, or they don't really do that much. That's the, that's the issue. They don't really do that much. But I'll still keep them for now. It's just, uh, I think later on, they might become a little bit of a liability. At least maybe offensively. Defensively, they should still hold their own. Just because of the type of advantage and being in the Super Saiyan 2 category. I think. Well, anyways, um, Majin Vegeta did transform now, or at least uh, this is the TUR Majin Vegeta. And I'm trying to see what we can do here. I want to get the Gohan a nice super. So I'm going to give one to the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta. I'm really worried that he's going to get supered in that first slot, but I think it's worth it. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> well, luckily... Luckily, he didn't get supered. If he got supered, I think it would have been. We probably wouldn't have died, but it would have been, been dangerous. It would have been dangerous. But like I said, man, it was worth giving the Gohan all those orbs because he basically one shot <laughs> the Majin Vegeta. And if you guys have the tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, then you're pretty much set. Um, you know, like you still might have to do a few retries for a few stages because other guys might get killed, but. The tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan should, should carry you through like most of the, uh, of the event. Like if you get him an 18k super, he's going to be one-shotting I think up until at least like level 5 or 6. And then even after that, if you get an additional, then he still might be able to solo Majin Vegeta. I'm just talking though, like I could be wrong. <laughs> we'll see, we'll find out soon. We'll find out soon. But the point is, he is by far far by far the best unit to have on this event i think that much is obvious our gohan really just took a super for almost 200,000, even after he got to attack too so he raised his defense and we still took almost 200k that's tough that's tough ah, all right Eight minutes, almost nine minutes now. 
uh, five levels in. I, that's actually not too bad. It's not too bad. It could be better. I think there were a few stages so far where like maybe I was spending some time like thinking about my moves when instead I should just be doing it. That's the kind of an issue I have in like all races in, in general. Anybody that has uh, watched me race like other YouTubers know that my problem is I tend to overthink things. I tend to overthink my moves. I'm like, what if I do this? And maybe I won't survive in the next stage. Or if I do this, then maybe I'll die. But I just need to go for it, man. I mean, we're racing, right? So it's about time. If it was just like a regular showcase or something like that, wouldn't be as big of an issue. But right now, I'm trying to achieve as fast of a time as possible. And I don't think I'm doing a great job at that. Nonetheless, we're on level six. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put Gohan there. It's gonna be 18 key super. That's nice. And then I guess the Majin Vegeta's are just not gonna get supers off. That's it. Is what it is. It is what it is. The most important thing is we get Gohan his super. An additional here would be appreciated. Damn, yo, the legendary power link makes such a big difference. Such a big difference. I mean, the last time I had him with the legendary power link, he uh, hit for like eight mil, and just now we hit for two. Um, so yeah, that's a that's a big difference. Of course, the Majin Vegeta now has more defense, so. I would expect to do less damage, but the point is, we gotta try to get Tech Gohan with the Legendary Power Link as uh, often as we possibly can. Uh, okay, so I can't actually get a super here, but I think they'll get an additional super because Macho Vegeta is pure Saiyans. And the concern is, of course, supers are really gonna hurt pretty much everybody on this rotation. Hmm. Well, as long as Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta doesn't take a super, we'll be fine. He's the one that I'm really concerned about. Oh, nice. Uh, wow, Kalen Khalifa tanked that really well. Okay, so now that's going to be a nice 24 key super for Gohan, and I think he's got this. I think he's got this. A crit, I think, is probably needed, actually. But maybe, maybe not. Oh, we needed a crit. Yeah, we needed a crit. Um... An additional from Majin Vegeta might do the trick. Additional super, I meant. Not not this. Damn. Okay, so... <sighs> He's gonna get supered, and only 70k, wow. Okay, good job. Good job. Got the Khalifa. The additional super from your passive right now would be nice. Okay, no super. Normal does the trick, I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. So six levels down, four to go. Making very good time, in my opinion. I don't remember what the last uh, LR Extreme Z battle took us, but I think it was like close to 30 minutes. What was the last one on Global, actually? I think it was Gohan, right? Might have been Gohan. So yeah, that, that I remember it took me like 25 to 30 minutes. So if we keep this pace, then we should be able to beat that time. Uh, oh, no, definitely. Medita there. Uh, five five orbs, it looks like, for Gohan. That's good. And that's going to be an 18 key super. Or Angel Vegeta. And then we can give... I'm going to just give one tech orb to killing Khalifa. Okay, so... Normals did, you know, around, like, double to triple digits. Nothing crazy. The super... That's actually great. That that yo, I'll take that anytime. 
I'll, I'll take under 100k any day of the week. Okay, Gohan did not do as much damage as I was, as I was hoping with the Legendary Power Link. That's slightly disappointing. But Angel Vegeta made up for that because he hit harder than I was expecting. I guess it balances out. Okay. <sighs> um, it looks like Gohan does have a little bit more defense, so I'll leave him where he is. And luckily he does get a super as well. And then killing Khalifa should do a lot of damage. And then Majin Vegeta is just there. Or Tech Vegeta, rather. We haven't seen a Majin Vegeta transformation yet, have we? No, we haven't. We might not see a, a, a Majin Vegeta transformation this whole time, actually. Now that I think about it. Alright. Yo, Killing Khalifa, do your thing, man. Do your thing. Give me like three supers. Minimum. I know I know it's gonna be double super guaranteed. It's gonna be at least two supers guaranteed. I wanna see a third one though. <sighs> Let's go. <laughs> one more? Yes! Okay. Okay, we just need one more crit. We just need one more crit and we got this. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Three levels to go, guys. Three levels to go. That's seven. I'm expecting the difficulty to definitely increase significantly at this point. Or, or maybe on the next level. The last couple of levels are usually extra tough. And so far, it hasn't been that bad. Okay, so I don't really want to just give three orbs to Gohan, but there's too many attacks in that first slot. It really worries me. It really scares me, so I'm going to have to keep Angel Vegeta in the second slot. And I just barely missed a super for the tech Vegeta. That's, that's no fun. All right, well, Gohan, two supers this time, please. Come on, man. Yo, what is the point of having a chance for additional super on your passive if you're never going to use it? I'm just saying, like, why? Okay, on the bright side, he is taking those hits very well. So that was a good choice. I think the Angel Vegeta would have taken those for, like, 30 to 50k. Easy. Something like that. Okay, uh, so no, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no legendary power here, it looks like. Let's, uh, hmm, it doesn't look like there's actually a way to get a super off for either of these guys. So I'm gonna just have to punt this turn, I guess. This turn's just gonna be, uh, a write-off. Unless somebody can get an additional super, that'd be great, but I'm really not counting on it. Really not counting on it. Just wasting so much time. Wasting so much time with these guys. Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, that is... That is nice. That is solid. 18 key super. And then... Not quite 18 key, but... You know, a couple of supers from them should do well. And... Angel Vegeta can just uh, leave the rotation. We don't need him here. <laughs> we basically, uh, basically, I'm keeping the Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta for his Link, for legendary power, and that's it. Cause like he's not really doing much for us offensively or defensively. I mean, offensively he's doing okay. Defensively though, he's not gonna hold up. I don't think in the last couple of stages. So I'm probably gonna be floating him. And uh, for my rotations, I'm going to try to get the two Gohans together, and then I guess the Kill and Khalifa's together. We haven't had that yet, actually. I haven't had, like, a stage where I've had, like, just a nice, you know, proper, like, two rotations with the Gohans and the Kill and Khalifa's. Alright, alright, okay, so, yeah, that should be enough. That definitely should be enough. He only has a tiny bit of HP left. So, Majin Vegeta, finish him off. Let's go. Almost at 20 minutes. 
There we go. There we go. Didn't need the crit, but I'll take the crit. Okay, so level eight done. Level nine on the way. And, uh, you know, in the interest of time, let's just keep the same teams, because if I have to switch out units, I'm going to take way too long just thinking about that. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to keep pushing on. Keep pushing on. Ooh, this is going to be a nice super. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful super. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, no super for, for them, but we know they're going to get additionals, so it's fine. All right, 5.3 mil. If I get a crit here, that should be like half his HP. Got this, man. <sighs> oh, additional super. Clutch. Clutch. A crit would have been so nice. That, there you go. There you go. So imagine that crit, but for the first super, we had 5.3 mil attacks that. Dude, he would be almost dead. We probably would have been able to, been able to kill him on this rotation, like first rotation. <sighs> but alas, it was not meant to be. It was not meant to be. Now if we can get a couple of uh, additional supers here for these girls, we might still actually get him out, out of here on this rotation. Come on. Let me see a crit. Let me see. Mm, okay. We got close. We got close. This, this was like our best stage by far. Not even close. Okay. Uh, tough one. Uh, I guess I'll leave Majin Vegeta there. I guess I'll leave him there. We'll give a super to... Uh, that, I feel like, was a mistake, actually. Because then I can't get a super for the other Tech Vegeta. If one of the Tech Vegetas went, like, got a super, I think we could have killed him. But instead, I'm pretty sure I just wasted a rotation. Unless this guy can do something. It's not enough. It's not enough. The crit was, was a nice touch, but that was not enough. Okay. Okay! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that, but I'll take it. Alright, last stage, guys. Last stage, level 10. This is it. Under 25 minutes. That's what I want to see. Under 25 minutes. We get this done. Um, oh, no tech, Gohan. That is not ideal. And also bad... Orb distribution, bad board here. Uh, okay, so let's give him that. And I feel like I messed up there. Okay, so not a good start for this stage. That's for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, all right. He's not gonna make it easy for us, man. He's not gonna make it easy for us to get out of here. It looks like 50k on the normal. 50k. Well, so long as he's not supering us this turn, which he probably will, because I just said that. There we go. We have type advantage though. Be okay. 100k. All right. So we're like half halfway dead, you know, it, it happens. Uh, two orbs for Gohan is not going to give him much, but at least he gets a super. Oh, balls. Oh no, okay. See, I kept Super Saiyan 2 Angel Vegeta for the, you know, uh, legendary power link, but I kind of missed how many attacks there were in the middle. There's at least like four or five attacks in the middle. And I think it's going to be a bad time for our... Yeah, okay, that is a bad time. Whew, okay. Um, well, maybe I can do this. Ooh, actually, do I want to leave Gohan at the end there, though? 
Ohan is going to get one more attack, so you will have more defense, but is it enough is the question. We're about to find out. We're about to find out. Dying here would really suck, guys. Dying on the last stage, when I think we still have a chance to make 25 minutes, gonna be rough. Let's just hope he decides to be nice and for some reason leaves leaves us alive. Um, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. There's a chance he doesn't super us. There's also a chance killing Khalifa just kills him. That'd be even better. That'd be a lot better actually. Let's let let's let's do that. Let's let's go with option B. Okay, let's go with option B. He just dies. By killing Khalifa supers. Right now. I'ma need a crit though. I'ma need a crit. Oh okay. Crit here would be great now. Please. Additional. Yikes, okay. Well, so close, <laughs> so close. We just needed better rotations. That's that's what it came down to. Our rotations were not uh, ideal. You know, they were they were not the best. Okay, um, screw it. Let's give those to Kale and Khalifa. And oh, nice, we still got a super with the other Vegeta. Okay, so this is better. We're off to a better start here. We just really like it was hard to come back from those first two turns, you know, um, where we lost literally 80% of our HP. But now that we're not starting with that, I think we'll definitely be fine. And I don't think this Majin Vegeta event is really like that hard. I think I think it's challenging. I think it's a challenge for sure. Uh, don't get me wrong. Like I'm not saying it's super easy. All I'm saying is uh, we had some pretty bad RNG on that first run, right? On that first attempt. And as long as I had like normal RNG, we, we shouldn't have died there. So yeah, I'm 100% confident we got this one now. 100% we got this run. Now I did miss my target of 25 minutes which does upset me quite a bit but at the end of the day as long as we get it done that's all that matters right that's the most important thing that's the most important thing all right here we go double go hunt that is what i want to see okay i'm actually put Ooh, i don't know actually okay you know what screw it let's uh give just one orb to AGL Gohan so we can get the nice 24k super for Tech Gohan. And AGL Gohan might get messed up a bit. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Gonna get messed up a bit, but he's not gonna die. He's not gonna get us killed. And then Tech Gohan might actually close the show here. This could do it if he crits. I mean, I think, I think he's dead. Close enough. Close enough. We're gonna need one more rotation. But, uh. That's alright with me. Okay, what's this gonna do? 120? Okay, decent. Decent. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't know, actually. Hold on. Okay, let's give these to Killing Khalifa. They're gonna be our primage damage dealer. Primage. Prime. They're gonna be primary. Primary. <laughs> I was like, what is this word I'm trying to say right now? Primage, primal, primary. They're our primary damage dealer here. So I need to make sure they got a super off. Or at least a guaranteed super. And then they got a couple of other supers. But like, I wanna get them as many supers as possible. Because. They're either going to kill Majin Vegeta or 
<clears throat> get him very close, and then we can just finish him off with the the tech Vegeta. <laughs> yeah, we got this. We got this. Under thirty minutes. That's 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 what I said before. Under thirty, not twenty five. Thirty is the goal. Ooh, additional though, okay. Okay, let's go. Come on. And he's still alive. No way. There's no way he survived that. Okay, well, here we go. We're still gonna be sub 30 minutes, I believe. I will stop the time at the KO screen. Okay, oh my god. I will stop the time at the KO screen. Okay, so whenever that happens, oh come on, okay I messed up, I should have done just a normal attack, I don't know if that was possible though, but I should have tried just, to go, just go to, to go for a normal, and there you go, and there you go, let's just say round up, 30 minutes, 5 seconds, <sighs> can't believe that Vegeta did me like that man. I can't believe he did me like that. I mean, come on, like, it was, I, he didn't even have HP left. I, I couldn't even see the HP bar. Like, it was like, one HP. He had one HP left. You hate to see it, man. Hate to see it. All right, so uh, let's quickly Extreme Z Awaken, our Majin Vegeta, get him ready for the showcase video later today. Hope you guys, uh. Are excited for that? I'll probably take him through Super Battle Road. Uh, maybe even Extreme Super Battle Road. Although I'm a little bit worried about his defense on that. On Super Battle Road, I think he'll hold up okay. You know, at rainbow status. But yeah, in terms of Extreme, I know this guy's defense is not the best. Even with like the EZA boost, it it, it could be better. So. Yeah, we might we might do regular Super Battle Road <laughs> for that showcase, <laughs> but uh, I think about it. You guys will find out soon when the video drops uh, in a couple hours for sure. And there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for today's, or rather, the current video. As I keep saying, there should be one more after this, and uh, there is your fully Extreme Z Awakened LR Majin Vegeta. While not, I would I would say like a top top tier unit in the game still like a top top tier LR is usable in today's day and age, which is exactly what you want for Mainstream Z Awakening, right? Like I don't really expect these EAs to make units like top five or anything like that, even though sometimes they do, right? Sometimes the certain Extreme Z Awakenings they actually make them into like top five units or top ten units at the very least. Um, I wouldn't quite go that far with this Majin Vegeta Extreme Z Awakening. I do think he's flawed in a few ways, but uh, I still think he's very good nonetheless. I think it's a great Extreme Z Awakening. You guys will find out exactly how good he is in that video. Uh, real quick, let me just give you guys a quick uh, breakdown, I guess, of his EZ8 details. So leader skill is now 8 gel types, Q plus 4, HP attack and defense plus 120%, uh, 12 key super attack. Raises attack for one turn, mega colossal damage, and medium chance of stunning the enemy. And then 18 key super, uh, raises attack for one turn, causes colossal damage to all enemies, and a medium chance of stunning the enemies. And passive is defense plus 150%, attack plus 180% when performing a super attack. E plus 2 reduces damage received by 20% when there is an ally whose name includes Bulma on the team. Q plus 2 plus an additional attack and defense plus 20% when there is an ally whose name includes Trunks Kid on the team, and then Q plus 2 and chance of performing a critical hit plus 20% when the, when the name of an ally uh, who's attacking in the same turn or an enemy uh, includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded, and then Q plus 12 and performs a critical hit when HP is 30% or less once only. So there you have it guys. That is the Extreme Z Awakened LR Majin Vegeta. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments down below what your final time was. Let me know if you guys were able to beat me. 
Uh, I did mess up. I did die once, so most of you guys, or at least a higher percentage than normal, should have a better time than I did. And uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.